Welcome to another super deluxe edition unboxing video. Today we're going to take a look at Thin Lizzy Live and Dangerous. Now this is an 8 CD reissue, came out about a week ago. It's been released by Universal Music and pleased to say it's in the sort of 10 inch slipcase format which is proving quite popular. The, the Universal have put out quite a few in this format. I think it's it's a good size actually. Now this set consists of eight discs, as I said. So you've got the classic Live and Dangerous double album, which came out originally in 1978. And then the brilliant thing about this box set is you've then got uh, individual concerts, which were used to kind of take tracks from to compile Live and Dangerous. So, I mean, obviously there's lots of repetition, but if you're a Thin Lizzy fan, and this is them at sort of near their peak, um, it's a fascinating look at the, the different performances across the various countries and venues. So there's the classic album cover. It's quite straightforward, this box. Set. So you take the inside bit out. We've got a book here, and then we've got the discs. So as I said, it's um, eight CDs. So you've got this kind of eight-panel folio that folds out. And then all the discs are artworked up the same, actually. So that particular one is Hammersmith Odeon from November 76. So the original album was from London 76 and then Philadelphia and Toronto uh, gigs in 77. It does actually list it on the back here, which gigs the songs on the album are taken from. So you can sort of cross-reference and compare. Fantastic record. It's sort of like a live greatest hits really, isn't it? Uh, lots of debate about the overdubs. I mean, the latest I heard is it's the, there aren't really that many overdubs at all. It's got this reputation for being overdubbed. But I think um, that was put down to a Tony Visconti statement or interview. But I think since then, it's Scott Gorham has said they haven't, they didn't really do that many, if any, overdubs. So I think it's it's up to the listener to decide. I mean, whether they, whether it's really that important or not. Who knows? But the, the gigs in question, so disc two is Hammersmith Odeon, 14th of November. Disc three is another Hammersmith Odeon gig, so that was the ne very next night, the 15th. In fact, there's three in a row, so 14th, 15th and 16th. And then the following year, we've got the Tower Theatre in Philadelphia. There's two nights there, 21st and 20th of October. And then there's a Toronto gig, disc seven, and then finally, there's The Rainbow from 1978. I think only one track from the album was from that particular gig. So this book um, is quite a nice size, as I said, 10 inch. It's a nice mixture of sleeve notes from Mark Blake. And then loads of photos, memorabilia, kind of. Uh, it's, it's a nice balance, actually, of content here. So there's, there's plenty to read. It obviously gives you the background on the uh, album, quotes from reviews, that sort of thing. And then loads of photos and badges, and but it, then it goes into the track listing. So these are the various gigs. I think there's been the odd edit here and there. Some of the tapes were damaged, I think. So it's obviously these are all single CDs as well. This is obviously by far the most complete version ever been released in fact this is this has proved so popular this reissue that it's already hard to get hold of so if you do get the opportunity and you haven't picked this up already then i suggest you do it so there we have it live and dangerous thin lizzie you've got the book and you've got the folio and that slots into this outer slip case it's the same kind of size as the john lennon releases so to give you a kind of feel so i hope you've enjoyed this brief look at the 8 cd deluxe edition of thin lizzy live and dangerous if you have why not subscribe to the super deluxe edition youtube channel for more great physical music unboxed thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you next time